Welcome everyone, this is Ayato666 here with a 15 minute look at Strike Suit Zero. Alright. For all mankind's dreams about reaching new worlds, we had always been tied to the one that created us. Okay. The signal changed all that. What? The signal? Sent from an uncharted part of the galaxy, it told us how to escape the confines of our world. So we followed its instructions Beautiful. and built vast seed ships that we sent across the galaxy to populate new worlds and search for the origin of the signal. Why are you having tracking issues with this? You see the weird effects? Decades passed. What? And the more worlds we colonized, the more fractured we became. Ooh, that's great. That's... See, what the fuck's that? I don't understand that. Are we getting the invaded? The worlds wanted independence, but Earth wouldn't allow it. Yeah, I guess that's what it is, because you're getting invaded, everything's fucked up. Then the colonists found the source of the signal, and everything changed again. Ooh, huh? They traced the transmission to the crash site of what was believed to be an escape pod. There was no evidence of a crew, just wreckage. <laughs> that was just our crapper. There was no technology <laughs> there, and the colonies used it to strike a deal. Earth could study the wreckage in return for colonial independence. However, the deal turned sour. Say, this sounds like a stupid deal. Earth scientists discovered something valuable at the site. Something they wouldn't share. Afraid of what they might have found, the colonies expelled the Earth team. In response, Earth revoked their right to self-rule. How the fuck do you do that? It was inevitable. No! A war fought you can't rule yourself! No! Is expensive. I don't understand how you would even stop that! Neither side could maintain the struggle for long. But nor could they back down. The war had to end. But we could not have predicted how far they would go to end it. It's a very controversial game. But I always liked it. I wanted to share it with you guys. I never really got far in it because I'm not going to lie to you. The control scheme can get quite ridiculous. But it's worth it. Now you got an original campaign and you got this. Which is actually what you want to do now. Well, what am I thinking of? What? I thought there was a thing, McJigger, that allows me to train. What? I don't remember any of this. There's the original and then... Today you will take on a variety of roles as our new AI. Yeah, 2.0 2 it takes you through a series of simulations. Yeah, okay. I thought it said veteran. It said variety. Fucking idiot. Learn how to read, idiot. Alright, uh, these simulations cover some of the more heroic moments that took place in our war. This sounds hard as fuck. This is like the worst parts of the war. What? Battling out against the odds. Yep, this sounds bad. However, be aware that not all our heroes survive these encounters and in these simulations you must overcome odds that defeated our best pilots. Also, to ensure there is some educational value for our new recruits, these simulations have been collect collected together to give some insight into the events that created the colonial elite group known as the, the Black Fleet. Despite the historical setting, we are allowing these trainees to pilot the new strike suits this is fucking stupid within the simulations to help us evaluate them okay however we do encourage cadets to try the simulations using the historically accurate ship and loadout described oh my god so there's yeah this is also this has the dlc and the original campaign well plus that i think stuff they added in i don't even know if it's dlc uh, the simulation, blah, 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 uh. This took place six days after the massacre on Akira 5. When the new AI controlled version 1.0 was charged 
with providing tactical support to the UNE fleet and it tried to remove a colonial blockade. The fleet followed Control's command to the letter and successfully destroyed the blockade but in the process killed 30,000 civilians. Jesus. The colonials were expected to retaliate for the massacre. This simulation covers the events that follow their attack. You will be part of an escort team protecting personnel from the Akira incident as they return to base. Now I don't know what kind of people you guys are. When I uh, when I hear a game has been remade, I like to look it up. I'm like, how did it look before? What you what you do? You're full of shit. Uh, they did a shitload. How do I? I don't even know what I just did. I should have fucking read, but I just hit X. I might regret that. Huh? Warning: the AI is currently evaluating a new AI. Oh, that's not what it said. How did I get that? Where did I get that? It's like I moved a word over. What the fuck? Whatever. How are you guys? <laughs> Come on. Huh? Alpha, what now? Okay. Welcome to the UNE training simulator. Maybe I shouldn't I shoot. UNE AI control version two. Okay. This scenario takes place approximately six days after the Akira incident. Where a UNE attack caused the death of some 30,000 innocent civilians. Uh... The Colonials are expected to retaliate. You are assuming the role of UNE pilot Tom Whitaker. Your assignment is to escort a group of freighters carrying UNE personnel involved in the Akira incident. I just got a trophy for hitting X. Transformer. I got a trophy for that. What? The enemy force that is folding in now was sent in retaliation for Akira. Their orders are to destroy the freighters. Pilot Tom Whitaker's orders were to destroy the attacking fighters. It might be useful to know that in this simulation, you have a 0% chance of saving the freighters. What's fucked up? Thanks for that, bitch. Yeah, these controls took me a while to get used to before. Uh, how do I do any- oh my god! What the fuck? How do I do anything? Triangle. Has been destroyed. How do I boost? I thought this was a training exercise. Horse shit. Uh. Transport has been destroyed. Uh. What can I do? Shut up! I don't care if my land cable's not connected. Fucking shithead. Where the fuck are these guys behind me? Where'd you come from? Fuck it, I'm gonna switch to this. I don't know why, but I'm gonna. Objective complete. The enemy ships retreated through the adjacent asteroid field. Fearing a trap, the UNE ships were given orders not to pursue the colonial strike team. However, pilot Tom Whitaker chose to ignore the danger and his orders and followed the enemy into the asteroid field. Good old Tom. Whoa. You will relive this act of heroism. Doesn't sound like heroism. Sounds like assholeism. I, I wasn't really fully listening. I was kind of fighting for my life. I may have said some things that weren't true. I panicked. How do I do anything? Are you shitting me? So this, this is not what I want to do. I thought this was going to teach me how to play. Does this teach me how to play? That's some fucked up shit. And yes, I've played this before. But I didn't really play the, the simulation stuff I found later. This I played. I really love the graphics, the art style, the story, the characters. The only issues I was having with this game, the voice acting in the main campaign is really hard to hear sometimes. But it's got subtitles and stuff. I mean, look at this. This is awesome. I, I love space games. We don't get enough of these. It's really rare that we get a good one. So I try to share them with you when I find them. Especially the galaxy. Come on, guys. <laughs> Be prepared for a lot of that. What are we doing? See? Axel. That's Axel. Yeah, from Alien Isolation, that's... Will take you through your evaluation. I know that voice. Reynolds, remember, your disciplinary detail is not over until the end of the shift. Gorgeous. Copy that command. It's been a pleasure.
measure. Jesus Christ. Until the end of the Why is it so loud on the other one? Shortcuts. Shortcuts. Adams, we'll start slow with a freighter inspection at the loading platform. What the fuck did they do on Earth? I'm uploading a navigation waypoint to your ship now. There's this isn't Earth, is it? There's no green anywhere. If you look around, you'll notice everyone else is leaving. I don't care. Why isn't being sent forward to the fleet? Is this not Earth? My team's already there, and the only thing stopping me joining them is you. Shut up. Command wants me to decide whether you're fit enough. Ah. L2. I think I hit every button but L2. In what has been a torturously dull disciplinary detail. After this, I get posted back to my unit. So, let's get it over with. Oh, shut up. You give me a bitch here, friend. Wow, that is gorgeous, man. The controls take a little bit of getting used to, but you really do get used to them. But mainly you gotta focus on this game, which is really what they mainly want anyways, you know? Okay, let's, uh, turn around. Yes! What the fuck is that? It's a moon? Yeah, this has to be Earth then, right? What? Okay, that scared the crap, but systems load so quick and aggressively now, it scares the shit out of me. Can I do that? I want to do that. Oh wait, I just did. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Hold. There's... How? She's been doing supply runs to the fleet for the last few days. How would there be an atmosphere if there's no trees? I don't get it. And look at all those, uh, like... Looks like a lot of flying down there. On Earth. It looks like there's, uh... There's planes that leave those trails. That's what all this looks like. Like there's been a shitload of flying on Earth. Huh? Copy that, Reynolds. Just waiting for clearance. Almost hit him. <laughs> Cold gate is live, Proteus. Please confirm your flight plan. Flight plans changed. I received new orders about five minutes ago. I've been rerouted to some R and D station in the middle of nowhere. Can't be worse than back here, right? Apparently, I'm, I'm assuming. I don't know. My character may, may have been through the war before because I'm getting hallucinations and there's like on the screen there's uh, auditorial hallucinations she keeps hearing something or he or whoever the fuck it is uh, besides the music I'm hearing someone whisper in my ear which is fucking awesome I, just, I wanted to tell you that I, a lot of people don't I don't know if they hear it I, I use an amplifier with my headphones makes you you're able to hear so much more because this is FCC guideline laws, and you gotta. They gotta lower the sound. So this fixes that. Then you actually hear what your headphones are capable of. Huh? I like how he's an alien, but he sounds like he's from Chicago. Sheboygan. <laughs> That's what he sounds like. What the fuck? It's like an alien took a giant dump on the moon. What the hell is going on? As you can see, man, it's it's easy to get into this game. I can see it being so much fun. I don't know what the hell. Oh, I can't transform here. See? You have a pig chin? Wee wee wee! Alright guys, that's pretty much going to do it for us. I know we didn't really get a full look at it, but I, I, I do what I can. It's only a 15 minute look. I enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed the 15 minute look. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. I hope to see you in our next one. Take care!